Hello YouTube and YouTube Fight Community, this is Brad Blade and we're smoking one of my Tim Sellers pipes. This is a Devil Ants and he made two styles of Devil Ants. The taller bowl and then the shorter round one like an apple. And I'm smoking some one eye willy. This one eye willy's got a one third of Lane's one Q, Pirate Cake, and some uh, 151 Red Virginia. And it's very tasty blend. It's, uh, it's on the internet. There's different versions of this tobacco, but I kind of found this being about the best. And it's very, very tasty tobacco. Very good. But we're here to highlight Tim Sellers as a, a really, very good pipe maker. And the reason I got into making this video here today was I had, when I watch, and I, I might be a little quirky when I do this, but when I watch the movie with Kevin Costner and that in it, the Hatfields McCoys, I gotta smoke either my devil lands from Tim Seller due to the fact that his wife is a descendant of the McCoy side. And I also have his McCoy poker. And I love this poker. It's got a pencil shank size on the shank here. But a real gnarly plateau top. And this pipe smokes fantastic. Beautiful looking pipe. And uh, Tim's on my top two getting a, a, a new pipe made this year. And uh, I can't say enough about Tim Sellers and his pipes. They are fantastic. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one man. One pipe maker to give a devil lance from, and that's Tim. His pipes are so close to what the original is in that movie, and uh, it's it's almost scary. <laughs> uh, like I say, I had the taller one of the devil lance, but I'm planning on getting the uh, apple shaped bowl in the traditional little black rim on the top. And the black, uh, either in a regular uh, vulcanite stem or maybe an acrylic black stem. But size-wise in that, uh, right on the money. You can't get, you can't get one that's more realistic. And uh, I smoke this pipe a lot. Uh, I'm glad the walls <laughs> are a little thicker in the middle because... I smoke this pipe a lot and I smoke it a little bit hot, but it's still going, you know, coming through no no problem. <clears throat> this pipe also is darkened a lot. This was natural and it was very light when I got it. And as you can see, it's really dark now. And it's just going to get darker and darker eventually. I'm, I'm sure it'll turn black. But uh, I'll... Uh, Put his Instagram in the uh, bucket of this video, but uh, this one of one of my uh, very top, you know, sellers that I have of pipes that I have of artisan pipes in my collection, and uh, I was gonna I'm gonna watch the movie today, uh, and I had I had the pipes out because. I always smoke them pipes when I watch that movie because it's a three-part movie because it was made, put out on three different days. And uh, I have the movie. And uh, like I say, I'm planning on watching it. But uh, if you're looking for a devil lance, you can't get no better than Tim Sellers for a devil lance pipe or the McCoy pipe uh, 
ochre because it, it is excellent. So, not much else here. Uh, just want to say thanks to all my new and old subscribers. And uh, nice sunny day today. Kind of windy here, and it is a little cool. But uh, we're supposed to be hitting in the upper 40s here today. And uh, a lot of giveaways going on, a lot of galls going on. I have a, a, a gall VR to make. So, uh, not much else here. So, oh, and then, like I say, I'll uh, put in what the tobacco is here in the One Eye Willie. Like I say, there's different versions of it, but the main two ingredients is the. Uh, Lanes 1Q and the Pirate Cake, but I talked to uh, John Lofton and that one. He says, you ought to try putting a little red Virginia in. And, and uh, so I did, and it uh, gives it a little spice. Very good. So uh, I think I'm going to make more of it and jar some up and put it away and also keep some out to smoke. So... Well, this is Barry Blurry saying sweet smokes, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.